U.S. Landforms. What You Need to Know by Linda Crota Brennan. Shaping the Earth. Imagine you're building a sandcastle. Your fingers shape the sand into different forms. Like your fingers, natural forces shape Earth into different landforms. A landform is part of Earth's surface. Mountains and valleys are examples of landforms. Volcanoes and glaciers cause some of the forces that shape landforms. Volcano, an opening in the Earth's surface that sometimes sends out hot lava, steam, and ash. Glacier, a huge moving body of ice that flows down a mountain slope or across a polar region. Flatlands Plains are flatlands. They are the most common landform on Earth. Coastal plains line the eastern United States. The Great Plains are in the middle of the United States. Long ago, a shallow sea covered these plains. Over millions of years, rock and soil settled. The sea dried up. Flatlands remained. Coastal Plain a large area of low, flat land near the ocean that was once covered by water. North America 105 million years ago 60 million years ago 40 million years ago Highlands Earth's top layer is broken into plates. When the plates meet, mountains, hills, and plateaus can form. Hills are high. Mountains are even higher. They have steep sides and narrow tops. Mountains tower above their surroundings. A plateau is a highland with a flat top. Fact Another name for plateaus is tablelands. They are high but flat, like a table. Plate A large sheet of rock that is a piece of Earth's crust. Plateau an area of high, flat land. Black Hills, South Dakota. Hills. Mountains. Plateaus. The Appalachian Mountains are on the east side of North America. Almost 500 million years ago, Two plates hit each other. They pushed these mountains up. The Rocky Mountains lie on the west side of North America. They were formed by one plate sliding under another plate. Rocky Mountains Deep Lands a valley is a low area surrounded by highlands. A canyon is a narrow, rocky valley with steep sides. A fast-flowing river usually forms a canyon. Over time, the river wears away the land. It carves out the canyon. The Colorado River carved out the Grand Canyon. Fact 
The Grand Canyon is so big, you can see it from space. Canyon, a deep, narrow area with steep sides. A canyon often has a stream or a river running through it. Grand Canyon, Colorado River. Water. Lakes are bodies of water surrounded by land. The Great Lakes are five huge connected lakes. They lie along the northern edge of the United States. The Great Lakes were formed during the last ice age. Giant glaciers dug hollows into the earth. Then the temperature warmed and the glaciers melted. Water filled the hollows. Ice Age A period of time when much of Earth was covered in ice. The last ice age ended about 11,500 years ago. Lake Michigan A river is a large body of flowing water. The Mississippi River runs through the center of the United States. More water flows through it than any other river in North America. When a river drops over a cliff, it forms a waterfall. Niagara Falls is a famous waterfall. It is found in the United States and Canada. Fact the Rio Grande is a large river separating the United States from Mexico. Waterfall, a place where river water falls from a high place to a lower place. Rio Grande River, Mississippi River, Niagara Falls. Where land meets water. An island is land surrounded by water. The state of Hawaii is a chain of 132 islands. Volcanoes in the Pacific Ocean formed Hawaii's islands. Each time a volcano erupted, it left behind a layer of hardened lava. The layers stacked tall enough to rise above the sea's surface. Chain, a series of connected things. Lava, the hot liquid rock that pours out of a volcano when it erupts. A peninsula is land surrounded by water on three sides. It is connected to a larger landmass on one side. The state of Florida is a peninsula. Landforms are all around us. Volcanoes form some. Others were scraped out by glaciers or carved by rivers. What landforms are near you?